Uh, you were deployed, posted to Confederation in 1985-86, right? Yeah, December Confederation. Huh? Up to 87. 87 okay. Mbodaji. Okay. Yes, up to 87. I left so, that place in 1987. Okay. So 1987, you were, uh, you were returned to your parent company. 1987, last okay. Yes, I was taken back to GNA. And you discharged from the army in 1990. Natabo uh, soldier kuna 1990. 1990 lang army. Yes, I I left the army in 1990. You only did six years. Amanda ko yekari woro drone. Sanji woro. Sanji woro drone ke. Five. Mala sanji lulu. Five years, huh? Sanji lulu. January 1995 to 1990. January 1995 to 1990. What did you do when you left the army? Sila idin nandamu ne ke kabri bota soldier kunda. Since I left the army, I was just sitting down without a job. Mm -hmm. And then? A caller? Mm. Uh huh. The same 1991. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, Barendin do Well, I had a niece called Dudu Sanyang. Mm -hmm. He came and found me in my compound at Tanji. He told me, Swandi Kamara. He told me that there was somebody in Ivory Coast called Dr. Mani. He said he wanted to have ex servicemen. He has a company and he wants those people to work for him. But I was not ready to go. But because of my niece, because we were very well used to each other, and there was a big respect between us. Then I later decided uh, to, 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 to join them. And this Dr. Mane, is he known by another name? Silangi Dr. Mane, Todo Balale Kakumandi Minna. Kabrinta Balona, Kafume Dr. Mane, Kabrinta Rufra Libera, the Naroko Kukwe Sambasanyan. Initially, we call him Dr. Mane, but when I arrived in Liberia, that's the time I came to know that he is Kukwe Sambasanyan. And Kukwe Sambasanyan? Uh, of of the 1981 uh, disastrous uh, coup attempt in Uganda. And when you could the in 1981 coup attempt in Uganda. It's the same person. Uh, what kind of company were you told he had? The in company si fanya dile yo mi mi fe kate wale soto. As my nephew told as my as my as my nephew told me the late Dudu Sanyang told me that the man has hospitals. He wants to enlist people who were ex servicemen. So he wants people who should be Gambians. Uh, did you go alone? No, I didn't go alone. Who did you go with? I went along with Swandi Kamara. The late Dabo. And M.M. Koli. I hope M.M. Koli is alive. Yes, M.M. Koli is alive. Yes, he is alive. <laughs> okay, and uh, where did you start your journey from? I was born in Italia. I was born in Zikansor. We went via Zikansor. And went on to Kunda. And went on to Tambakunda. We went on to Tambakunda and went to Mali. We joined a train at Tambakunda and went to Mali. Yes, where we were staying, that area is called Bamako. And then? And from Bamako, 
from Bim, from Bamako. Allah jinnata muto ta Bamako kote kenta ta Burkina Faso. We spent the night at Bamako. Then the following day we joined a vehicle and went to Burkina Faso. We were in the Burkina. second capital, Bobo Julasu. We went to their second capital called Bobo Julasu. Yambota hmm. Bobo Julasu. We left Bobo Julasu. Boss went out and tata wakadugu. We took a bus from there and went to Wagadugu. Based at Dameka for Avenue Moronaba. Where we based was called Avenue Morinaba. And thereafter? Where we based in Moroto? That's where we were based. Only what we been man Kukoi yet? All that time we have not yet met Kukoi. Doctor Mane from Majed. We didn't see Doctor Mane up to that time. But one day. But one day. Eh, in that phone you go. You can hear me from that angle. That area. They came to me and told me that the man they are talking about, let's go to him. There was somewhere in Burkina Faso a very expensive bar. They took us there. Expensive or extensive? No, I buy. Come and buy in a funky tabakele. A funky tanyadi. A dal. Je je kuko bele beje dal. Everything is in that bar. Ah, so bar. What is everything? Ako kobe, niko kobe, mun mun lemut. Kome bar barol mealon ko niko domoro nini feng fengol jamal ju siara jele dal. Well, it is in terms of food. You have a lot of things, food and a lot of things there. So kabrin tara woto. So when we went there, niko jamal a barol. They said this bar belongs to him. But I said somebody who they said was in Ivory Coast. How can he have a bar here? I was in Ivory Coast. How can he have a bar here? I was in Ivory Coast. Is this something very clear? But even there, we were still unable to see this Dr. Mane they are talking about. We were still unable to see this Dr. Mane they are talking about. We spent two weeks at Burkina. The third week, we are not going to go to Ivory Coast. In the third week, they said, "Now we are going to Ivory Coast." The plane we boarded. The plane we boarded. We do not plan to land in Bakol Bay Search. When we were going on board the plane, our bags were searched. We see the plane no cono. After we sat down on board the plane, na kio ya dunda be query. We saw a man come into the plane, a fair-colored person. Allah si George il Babala. Followed by his security men. We name Charles Taylor. They said this man is the man called Charles Taylor. What about Jambe Dula Lebi? I said. I said then today this place will be something will happen here. Why did you think so? Why? What do we have with Charles Taylor? Manji no pele kon pele no kon oxilang. So at that point we cannot disembark from the plane. Plane no take off ta wole nyama. That's how the plane took off. Rare jima between Ivory Coast ni Liberia la border. It went and landed between the Ivory Coast and uh, Liberia's border. But of course, this was the type of the NPFL. But uh, NPFL. Yes, this was NP yes. And and uh, this was just two years after the NPFL was launched. One year. Yeah. One year because it was yes they started in 89, but the official launch is 1990 from Nimba County. Yes. Please. We went at night. We traveled only at night. Who funded your travel? I don't know. What all we spent, uh, uh, Suwandi Kamara was responsible for all our expenditure. So Suwandi was a recruiting agent also. Yes. Proceed. So I not a convoy or tower in Yam. That's how we formed a convoy from Nimba County. From Nimba County, border on Yam from Dundabong County. 
We ran like that until we went into Bong County. The time we arrived at the Bong County, bullets were raining down like the, how rain comes from the sky. I said, what is happening here? And we are, uh, uh, during, we are, at that time, there was a ceasefire. I said, uh, during a ceasefire, bullets are raining like this. Then if there is no ceasefire, Mr. But to the one day, the why the ecosystem fire be carrying? Kidikeso be sanjijila. What on ninkelo be carrying? Mune be kela. He said that during a ceasefire, if bullets are raining on people, now when there is a war, what is going to happen? Uh huh. Nata na samba yankuba samate la bumoto. Then they took us to Yankuba Samate's house. from Badabuja and Salikenya ni manila. He is a Gambian. I think if I can remember, he's from Salikenya. Then I said to myself, oh, on the whole, in Liberia here, you have Gambians here. But up to that point, we are still unable to see Dr. Mane. Youngs, what was his name? Youngs. Well, I gave it away, sorry. But what was his full name in Liberia? Youngs, General Youngs. They call him General Youngs. Was he Smith? Was he Smith? Smith five, oh, five. Yes, he is also called Smith. Yes, proceed, please. Uh, we were there. But uh, they also realized that we are ex servicemen. Mm. Mm. Uh, and uh, and uh, Kari. And they said we should be taken to a place called Kari. It's a place where they have cattle and many other animals which are reared in that place. We went there and found Mustafa Jiba there. He's the man who was in charge of that place. What, what was his Liberian name? At a Liberian tomb community. Mustafa Macaron. They call him Mustafa Macaron. We spent some few days there also. Liberia na kukuli na biela kuto. But Liberia, there is one thing about them. Nimbe dalaje kongo mina mofal. Before we came to know about the place, we were nearly killed by hunger. Because there is only one type of food there. If you have lunch, you will not have dinner. And even there are normal time, that's what's the system there. But small things that you can eat around are plenty. Because they are sufficiently endowed. We were at Mustafa's place. One man came there and we were told that this man is Kukoi's deputy. They call him General Abulaiba. Short and strong. Yes. Yes. Inata for ni mu Kukoi Sambasanya na deputy. They told us this man is Kukoi Sambasanya's deputy. How many Gambian generals did you have there? When we initially arrived, there were not many generals. Namiroto, what man, ni general beje, abekela chasiro, ala bodyguard. At that time, if there was a general, I think he was chasiro's bodyguard. Rafa Jere Koli. They call him Jere Koli. Anga mira wato wala. And Jere Koli was General Jackson. Jackson. Ah uh, yes, Jerry Kole was General Jackson. Mm -hmm. Youngs too, wasn't he a general? Youngs do general. And later on, Yankuba also became a general. And Ablaiba also was a general. Ablai, Ablai is three-star general. Ablai was a three-star general. Lieutenant general. So, what? How about Mr. Fa Macaroni? He, 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 he. Mr. Fa was was a lieutenant colonel. Lieutenant. Mr. Fa was a lieutenant colonel. So, Gambians ruled Liberia. Am tako Gambians so wol le Liberia mara? Ah, nin to nya be fo kan kai. Well, if the truth comes out, 
gambeno le sembo so no liberia gambians we are very powerful in liberia we are da ni gambeno te je te tamala wherever you have serious trouble if a gambian is not there then uh, you will not go so na da tra wala nyama je that's how we were there eh ni general eh ablaiba this general ablaiba na ta fo mustafa ko konta tu no le jembita fo grand basa he told mustafa that we cannot remain there we have yeah. to go to grand basa grand basam basa basa yes in bichama grand basa in bichama mudu na ta na samba bichama they took us to bichama but what o mudu nta 2019 because 91 nda ta dunda 1992 kono sign Now it was we were in 92 at that time. In Aden Tola at this stage mm -hmm. have you already been integrated into the NFL? Sila wo watol to yal dundile o NPFL right. Foka bere eh foka pare NPFM. Ah ko sang ko mbe ko mbe temalo. Yes at that time we were in the middle of things. What rank did you attain at the NFL? Sila de makama jamale soto nun NPFM. Da dum follow the am fighter fighter mundi. Initially I was just a fighter. If I was given a rank, it was an operational rank. Ah, which was? I was a captain. captain. Which was a captain. Um, not so a travel. You, you, you led a company. Na kamunda kwenye na company ni nyatonge ya. Ah, not a travel nyama. That's how we were. Not a document soldier. They came and took our documents. Up to this time, have you met Kukoi? Up to that time, we haven't seen Dr. Mane. Did you willing, willingly enlist? Silang fuite kabiring ibeta kanga itifango le iswanta le bangpurieta. Odo mbete malat balante jesa ite balan nola. Because we were already in the middle of things. At that moment, you cannot refuse. Because Liberia benyami. Because the way Liberia was. Ya kenya men Gambian Gambian ole position jamala mutaji. Because how things were going on, Gambians held many positions. If you come to Nimba County, where we entered through, Colonel Mfamarakoli was responsible for that area. If you go to Lofa, General Jallo was there. What's his name? Tundi. Atabota Ndembanli. He's from Demban. Who made him come some time ago? Monolo. Did he have a Liberian name? A Liberian tosotole. Mustafa Mustafa Jallo. Mustafa Jallo. Do man kalare atalare mwamra Mustafa Sanya ne mai do for Sanya le mai don no. I'm not sure. General Jallo. Where he would he was Mustafa Sanya or Sanya but they call him General Jallo. Wola marta lofa. He was the guy in charge of lofa. Obaji la kundo dunda wadon puri kana iye findi no Liberia kona ba kola la. By the time when we went into Liberia to come out out of that country was really difficult. Lunta wala mudi dunda. If you are a stranger and you happen to go in, ndube dunda wala mudi dunda sutole. And the time you were going in, it was late at night. Panola kire te fanje karu banga be Liberia te male. And daybreak you see yourself in in the country and banga was in the middle of Liberia. Yo, so ngamre la man la wala wala ne saundi kote ke samba grand basa. I think they were not uh, sure of us, or there was no trust. That's why they decided to take us to Grand Basa. Unfortunately, Janning iba fola karikilum fulanja mo. Unfortunately, before two months, ukoi na atakabo na Ghana. Ukoi came from Ghana. Man, ina olungola wat olungola. I cannot forget that day. Runenya ukoi jenyal. That was the day I set eyes on Kukoi. Ko ah, I came in for Dr. Manning inam. Oh, I said to myself, the man they call Doctor Mane. So this is the person. In the whole of Liberia, they only call him Doctor Mane. They don't call him Kukoi. That's the time we sat down with him and had a meeting. That's how we all joined. As we all joined. But uh, what did he want from you? So I tell after Munela told Bulu. Um, today is mentary to the blue. I'm going to go. What we found them doing was, the child Stello Marco Chelo and Ni Pareta. They helped child Stello in fighting when they were ready. Sinagambia jam. 
they come to the Gambia. But at that time, Jawara was the head of state. And you agreed to that enterprise? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, and uh, you continue to participate in fighting in Liberia? Isn't it? Yes, but before the fighting itself, now how we were there, that's how they came to know. They knew that we were old soldiers. They said we should go to Cobra Base. That was Charles Taylor's advanced training base. Before Monrovia attack. Before we attacked Monrovia. But, but that was a base shared with Fode Sanko, was it? But a old learning uh, so, so for the Sanko Fanang Dabi Yelin. And for the data auto. No, for the was not part of that. I have never seen a Sierra Leonean there. I held the Quran and swore. And this is Allah's name. I will tell the truth is better tell, telling li than telling lies. This is a very important point, perhaps for other reasons, but hmm. proceed. We went to Cobra Base. Because people were taught by Liberians. But when we arrived, they said we should take over the camp from the Liberians. It was himself. Late Dudu Sanyang, late Dudu Sanyang, late Dawda Nyasi, late Dawda Nyasi, Koli, late Lamin Dabo, late Lamin Dabo, and Swani Kamara. And Swani Kamara. And you were all ex-servicemen. And we were all ex-soldiers. Then we were there training the boys. Before 1992, Keloema. Before the war started in 1992. Those who don't know will think that it was Charles Tello who attacked uh, uh, Monrovia. But I held the Quran. What I saw with my eyes and what was said. The, the problem came from them. Because 15 gates. Because 15 gate Obe Habel. is at a place called Habel. If you leave that place, you go to Monrovia. 15 gate be Ekomok lebu. 15 gate was in the hands of the Ekomok. A rebel will be born on Monrovia near the Fuena massacre in in Habel. So how can rebels come from Monrovia and come and kill people at Habel? They said it was Charles Taylor. In a 92 Keloma. This is what triggered the 1992 war. But it was really tough. Uh, uh, 15 gate. Starting from 15 gate. We fought them until we took the place called Red Light the from Ghana, them. Ghana, eh, Vanas, Ghana's, eh, Vanasville table. We took Vanasville from them. We took New Joji also from them. We took a lot of places from them. No, do, you, do you realize that some Gambians were injured in that fighting? Some, not many. Gambians don't fight in Liberia. If anybody tells you that... I wouldn't if lie to you. If if Gambians tell you they were fighting in Liberia now. They were there, but based at Freeport. We see them. One platoon was involved in fighting. And, uh, and Captain Kambi was injured. It could be, it could be but I have not but, seen but them. But all these things are interesting. Uh, but let's move to the more important points. Uh, you, you, you served in Liberia until 1994. Correct? 
Gay for 1994, Samuel. Ah. Yes. And uh, then what happened after that? Uh, 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 I want you to forgive me. There is a point which I want to uh, uh, declare here so that people will know about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, in, 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 in the war in 1992, I bring a when we defeated the Ekomok, jet fighter tank. They took jet fighters against us. Liberia was a cluster bomb. It, I, it was in Liberia that I saw a cluster bomb. I've never seen it in my life. Wouldn't cluster bombs be illegal? Yes, I saw it. They dropped it along with a parachute. We saw some of them which didn't explode, just like a barrel. We saw some of them which didn't explode, just like a barrel. Because in Liberia you have many swamps, uh, a lot of water, where it falls down, if it is in water it won't explode. I saw it with my eyes there. So in 1992, in 1992 the Ghanaian members of the Ekomok, they are the people who went to Bichama. General eh, Babe Daming, where General Ba was, no documents or battle Bruno. He was having our documents. Ghanian Odeo, no documents or Taraj Taji, they took over your base. Yes, they took over the base and captured our documents. Ghanian no Odeo, no document the Bondi. Yes, those documents were the documents sold by Ghanian. And that's why they said, oh, Gambians who are, are still fighting, are fighting for Charles Ledo. And that was the time they sent those papers in Jawara's time. Saying that we've all died. And uh, our deaths were announced here and uh, they did the necessary things for us. You, you mean your family did the necessary things for you? You mean your family did the necessary things for you? Yes, they did everything because they said that I was already dead. But this was during Jawara's time. And later? Okola. Then from uh, 1995. From 1995. It was the time when Kukwe said, let's come to the Gambia. But by that time, we also we were tired in Liberia. Why? Not in Liberia. Kukoi. Because Kukoi. Ni ajengina. If you see him this year. Ni baje la kutoka kamele. Before you see him again, it takes a long time. Until we balu kanda bang. Whether we were alive. Um mantra balu kanda bang. Or dead. Abang okea. He doesn't care. Ba fan yadro. He's always by himself. But it but it was said that the Gambians controlled the executive mansion. They said that the Gambians controlled the executive mansion. I am telling you. Yeah, that was true. Yet you are suffering in Liberia. But I have to be at all bit torn up in Liberia. And the reason why I said we suffered. And the reason why I said we suffered. And the reason why I said we suffered. However long a stick stays in water will not be able to transform into a crocodile. Well, as uh, uh, you go, you go enjoyment. Mm. Well, if you talk about enjoyment, mm. really, we, you enjoy. Yes, however, the war was going on, but we also enjoyed. We were all among the special forces. If you want, you can have more than 10 bodyguards. And you can go to anywhere you want to time for a country lastly. Sometimes they even hire me. I don't take that out of Liberia, down that jet or John Lem do Rambo, but I'm Because anywhere at a ghetto in Liberia, when they say John or Rambo, they will give me away. So you also became Rambo. So I come to the point of Rambo. Yes. And uh, uh, Youngs was one of those that controlled the executive mansion. Youngs for Nanga Dabi Mulhi, all the executive mansion. Okay, ta ala Ghana, Charles Lula ta Ghana meeting ola. 
Yes, that happened because Charles Sello went to Ghana for a meeting. Yeah, back, uh, Robin White ka interview no. If one can remember, Robin White interviewed him. And, and said to him, I am at Banga. Can you hear a generator? The now sound of a generator. Really, he was not at Banga. He was at the border. Every coast Liberian border. Every coast and Liberian border. Because on that, at that time, eight, eight generals. Eight generals. They connived. They came and burnt down our mansion. They took away all our guns. Those the things they cannot carry, they burnt them. But at that time, Charles Taylor was in Ghana. Which It was. Was this part of the negotiations for the Accra Accords? I think it was the same time. You must have been there, Mr. Chair. <laughs> so, so I sign now. I bring a mansion of Bajan. When the mansion was born, they to advance La Purkana and told them for men. They wanted to advance and come to the Kapri, area where Kapri, we were. Kapri, Kapri, uh, when they had that, that place, there are Gambians there. Mm -hmm. They came, they went back. But on that day also, I saw the three star general. The person we call a three star general. On that day, he, he was, he was afraid. He said, What are we going to do now? Let's go and surrender to the economic, economic forces. My dead body. I said to him, over my dead body. Maybe somebody will come to testify here who will say that, yes, this happened. I said to him, we die is better than handing over ourselves to the Ekomok soldiers. But later on, we fought, tried, until we took Banga from them. When Charles Tello returned, that was the time when he brought us closer to him himself. We were his guards. Because he didn't trust anymore his own people. It was us who were guarding him now, Gambians. Uh, yes, and uh, in fact, some of them, like, Youngs later became ambassador. Bowling Yama, four honey youngs for Naranaki ambassador. Charles Taylor's ambassador to Libya. Charles Taylor's ambassador to Libya. Yes. So you guys wielded a lot of authority in Liberia. A lot of experience. You became battle hardened. You also became Rambo. And you decided to come to Gambia. That's true.